Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick little video kind of going through how prep is going at the moment, little little bit of a prep update. But first, before I talk about that, I really wanna say thank you so much to anyone that watched my latest video of what I did on my birthday. As you all know by the photo, I did skydive and it was incredible. Like anyone that loves like adrenaline or heights or anything like that, go and do a skydive. Like it was amazing and especially the fact that I raised that amount of money and I hit my goal of 2017 for raising over £1,000 for cancer research. So thank you to anyone that donated. And if you if you still want to donate, the link is still in my bio. I think I'm going to leave it in there until probably like the end of May or something. And then I'll close it off and send all the money to cancer research. Um, but thank you to anyone that watched it. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, I'll leave the link in my bio. Um, but yeah. This prep, I, I'll update you with weight first. So first off, I started off week one. Um, so my beginning weight was 68 kilos. And then a week later, I dropped to 67.5 kilos. And then a week after that, so week three, I dropped to 67 kilos. On week three, my coach dropped 50 grams of rice um, from 150 grams of rice off and I dropped to 66 kilos which was quite good um only some, we've made small changes over this prep we haven't done anything drast drastic yet like we've just been keeping it very um slow and steady and we're now six weeks out on sunday and it is friday today so that's how much i've dropped i've dropped two kilos in total um i think i weighed myself yesterday and i was 65 Point five kilos so the weight is dropping the reason I do talk about um, a lot about my weight is because I do track my progress through my scales obviously not all the time I do go through obviously by eye um, and pictures and stuff like that's how I kind of track my progress but I do use the scales as an indication of my progress and to see if I've been dropping um, which is kind of not always key because I, I do agree with people when they say that scales aren't everything. I don't always use obviously the indication of scales but I do use them when I'm on prep and even when I'm not on prep I like to see what my weight is but when I'm on prep I don't like to really obsess over them because obviously because you're losing weight and your mind's kind of getting a bit messed up because you are on a prep. Um, I don't want to weigh myself all the time because it can be really a mind fuckery if that makes sense like it really does kind of screw up your mind a lot um if you don't see your weight drop one day or something or you might have gone up or something some people can't handle it and they can't handle the scales going up or down um when they, when they are on prep but i am strong enough now that i can handle that so um i do use the scales as an indication to see what's just going on just one of it it's just one method of progress but yes i just wanted to say that because a lot of people obviously do say screw the scales, but I kind of do think um, the scales is a good indication. Not all the time though, not all the time. My training regime at the moment is two upper body sessions and two lower body sessions, no cardio still, which is really good. Um, and it is slowly coming off, my weight is slowly decreasing um, because my, my coach doesn't want me to really decrease a lot of weight quickly because my last weight for competition was like 60 kilos i'm currently at 65.5 so we I th we're d definitely going to be heavier because i've definitely grown muscle on the five months i had off for my off season um but yes feeling good at the moment since i've done my skydive i was really really struggling like my body just had nothing left i was absolutely knackered and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't actually function properly. And I had a bit of a meltdown, not a meltdown, like it's not anything serious at all, but I think it was on Tuesday, I went off my plan and kind of had like quite a bit of chocolate at work. And then I had loads of sweets and then I had a pizza as well. And yeah i kind of went a little bit off the rails which is fine it kind of screwed me over a little bit um just because i was like i'm not gonna be ready like i don't feel like i'm gonna be ready i can't like why am i craving so much blah 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 and that is totally normal to want to crave to want to eat all the foods 
wants to on prep it's totally normal i am one of those people that get a lot of cravings when i am on prep that's just me that's just the way that for me my prep has worked this time um i really enjoy my diet and i like having i like knowing what i'm having every day but it's getting to the point now where say, the same foods are kind of difficult to just eat every day so what we're doing is my coach is kind of swapping foods around and stuff like that so which is good so my mind's kind of not thinking food is the enemy type thing but yeah it's getting hard um but it's making me realize how much i do want this like this time like i'm pushing through i'm making sure that i'm doing like making sure i have really good training sessions and making sure i get like steps in well, at the moment instead of no i have no cardio but i'm making sure i try and hit at least eight thousand steps a day um, just to get more active because um, obviously I'm not doing cardio um, but yeah I'm fit today I'm feeling a lot better someone today at work bought me a coffee because I looked tired which I thought was very kind of them but yeah yesterday I was absolutely knackered I went for a training session with my coach and it almost broke me but you will get those times where you are absolutely knackered and you think why am I doing this like why would I put myself through this when I could just not do it and have a chocolate bar or have something that I want to eat? <laughs> but it makes you realise how it's made me realise especially how much I want this and how much I want to succeed in this sport and stuff like that. So it will make it will this sport makes you or breaks you pretty much. That's how I look at it. It's it's not for everyone, but for the people that do do it, it is an amazing experience. Like I would say to anyone that wants to do it, definitely do it. Um, even though I'm here like saying, oh, I'm tired, blah, 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 but I would not change it for the world because I want to succeed in this sport so much and it's just amazing that I'm doing it and I'm surprised I'm doing it, but I feel great. And for anyone that needs motivation, like I know loads of girls that are competing at the weekend, just keep pushing, keep pushing keep thriving and just be amazing because it's an amazing sport and you know in the end it will be so so worth it like stepping on that stage in the best condition you have worked for and you kind of got to think of it you don't want to be doing the sport half-hearted that's why I got so annoyed at myself when I had that chocolate even though I sh like I do preach like balance and stuff but for me when I'm on prep I like to just have a, a schedule and know what to have and I broke kind of but it's fine I'm still losing weight I'm still hitting target and everything I'm still very lean at the moment I'll insert a picture here somewhere of my current condition my check-in on Friday I think it was but yeah it's a hard sport it does does really mess with your mind but you've got to keep pushing and you've got to keep going and you've got to remind yourself why you're doing it and you don't want to be doing this sport half-hearted that's the that's all the time every time I always think you've got to do it in full don't do anything half-hearted just keep going that's motivation for anyone that's competing soon yes that's all of my prep I think that's all my prep updates at the moment I'm really excited because I'm going to FitCon this weekend with all of my fitness besties that I absolutely admire so I'm really excited to catch up with them and I'll go with Max as well and then we're going to the south coast. So I'm going to film the entire weekend for you guys and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Please comment below if you want any specific videos as well because I'd love to put more content out there that you really want to see. So thank you so much for watching and I love you all so much.